Welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about one of the very important Git interview question. And question is here: In Git, how do you revert a commit that has already been post and made public? Right. That means what I'm trying to tell you: uh, You made some local changes, and uh, you commit those changes in the your local repository. After that, you push your changes into the uh, basically remote repository. And afterwards, that will be publicly, uh, basically available for everyone, every developer, right? Whoever is the part of that project, then those kind of uh, basically changes. If you feel that that commit was bad and you want to revert it, then how you can do that? So there can be a two approaches to tackle this scenario. That depends on the situation. First approach: what you can do, remove or fix the bad file in your new commit, and then push it to the remote repository, right? Uh, this is the most obvious way to fix an error. Once you have made necessary changes to the file, then commit it to the remote repository using the git commit command, right? So you push all the changes in your local repository. Already you have, you remove all the bad commits and again you are going to push, you are going to commit your changes, right? This is the one of the way you can do. But if changes are, uh, changes, you have made changes in many files, right? Then uh, again reverting those changes will be very, very, basically or uh, tedious right now second approach what you can do you can create a new commit that undo all changes that uh, you were made in the bad commit to do this uh, we can use a command git revert and then bad bad commit id right this is the i think a good approach if you have some bad commit happened then you can revert those commit right now let's see how we can do that so let's try to understand through an example so here i have one repository is called template method design pattern which is currently pointing to the develop branch and here is my git bash here you can see that is pointing to the git bash if i do git status then you'll see my local work space is currently sync up with the remote repository right so so what i'll do I'll make some changes in my local uh, repository. Uh, I'm my workspace. So here, just uh, say for simplicity, just I'm going to create one file, right? So I'll go to test file. This is just txt file, and I would say this file is created for testing purpose, right? So just I have created one new file, but uh, in real scenario, you can have many changes, right? Here in this commit, I'm going to just create a new file and that I'm going to commit on the remote repository. But in real scenario, you can have many changes. So just I want to keep this uh, session, keep this video sh uh, short and sweet, right? So here if I go and if I do git status, then you'll see this is showing one file is untracked file. So we have to add this file into first of all uh, in in our uh, staging area. So for that we have a command is called git add and period, or you can give the file name as well. So this will add my change into staging area. Here you can see. Now I'm going to commit this change. So for that git commit and you have a minus dash and here you can see the commit message added uh, text text file this is the commit message i have provided press enter then this change is going to add into our local repository now we need to push this change into the remote repository if you, i go to here and uh, if i look into the develop branch this was this is not published yet because i need to push my changes into the remote repository right so this is just uh, when we commit it then this is going to add in our local repository to push into our remote repository we have a command git push right I press enter so now my changes are going to push into remote repository right and uh, whatever changes we have done that was supposed to available uh, publicly publicly on the remote repository if i refresh this guy then here you can see test file has been added over here now uh, uh, just i have made changes in a single just I have added added single or new file, but in real scenario you can have many changes. Think like that, right? Now if I do git log, then this will give you the all the uh, basically uh, commit history till it uh, happen on this branch, 
and this is the basically a uh, commit id which just we have done right we had provided the commit message added a text file and this is the latest commit where head is pointing right now uh, we can do as what we have discussed in this slide we can use this command git revert and then commit id we can do so now we want to revert this commit so that whatever changes i have done in this commit i want to revert right so how we can do that so press q to come out from this log and clear the terminal now i'll write git then uh what is the command git revert git revert and then you will have to specify your uh, id commit id and if you press enter then basically when you do try to revert then this is basically git is basically trying to basically uh, make one more commit basically that will revert your changes and that will uh, create one more uh, basically uh, commit history so basically uh, your history is not going to destroy so here uh, basically now uh, here you can see the default editor has been opened if you would like to make make some change in this commit message then press i and you are free to uh, change this uh, basically uh, commit message but i don't want to make any change then press uh, shift colon right or uh, you can press ctrl c and shift colon and w q and press enter to come out from this uh, uh, basically editor right now if i do now that was supposed to revert if i go to the my workspace then here you can see file has gone if i go to the remote repository and refresh currently i'm selected develop branch and if i select then here you can see file is still there even after refreshing okay file is also there i don't know why that is only deleted from uh, my local uh, repository that was supposed to read from the remote repository so what i'll do i'll do git status and let's see what is happening now here uh, this is telling me to push your local changes so here again you have to do git push and then your file will be deleted let me do the git push so that will make one fresh commit again and whatever changes i had done for the last commit that was supposed to uh, remove from remote repository so let me check out now here you can see test dot uh, test dot txt file have been deleted so if you have a many changes then all those changes will be removed from your remote repository let me show you the log so if i do git log then here you can see what happened so here uh, you can see uh, we had reverted this commit right whatever commit happened uh, whatever changes we had made in this commit those all got reverted and git has issued one more commit uh, to revert our changes right so here uh, commit history is going to maintain by the uh, basically scm tool or git right so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial